All right, I want to explain something to you guys. And uh, hopefully some will get it. I know a lot won't. <laughs> but there's so much bullshit. <laughs> repeated and repeated. And all the fake speed videos where people, you know, <laughs> speed them up. It's it's ridiculous. The, the whole crankcase thing. And uh, we'll get into it in a minute. But it's just kind of funny. <laughs> You know, these are one-speed transmissions. That's the transmission right there. One speed. And I'm going to get to that in a minute, too, and why it's laughable when you see these high-speed, you know, 60-mile-an-hour videos. It's it's a joke. And, you know, that's a 49-millimeter iron sleeve. That's a Minarelli, and that's an MS-460, okay? Now, the difference is... You know, that little motor has some torque to it when you get it up going and rolling and whatnot, you know, but it's it's from, say, one-third to two-third its power band, <laughs> you know, whatever it can do. You got a whopping, like, three horsepower out of one of those, okay? And you need a bigger sprocket because that's all it can really handle. I mean, maybe a... You know, a 42 through a 38 is really pushing it. You're going to have to get it up going. Anything else on like a 26-inch wheel, it's not going to do it. I got a Minarelli here. And those will start out on like a 36, 38 tooth sprocket. You know, after that, you start killing them out of the gate. They have no low-end power. And they have mid to high power. RPM wise, they have no torque to them. The reason is, is they go on a transmission, a CVT transmission, all right? Just like the 139cc bike I have. Then you got one of the saw builds. Now these have a ton of low end mid range power, all right? They will pull something super small right out of the gate and run it, all right? Now here's the difference. You got this one right here, which is all low-end porting. It's designed that way. The most you're going to get out of that is maybe 7K RPM. That's it. You got a Minarelli here. The most you're going to get out of that is functional RPM. We're not talking about the idiots that can't set a clutch where it goes up to 14K and smokes the clutch. We're, we're not talking about them. When you get one hooked and it goes, it's about 12K max, okay? And then you got a saw build, which is running about 10K driving something that's small. And 28 tooth and a 30 tooth is not unrealistic for that. And then a Minarelli, like I already said, and that one, okay? Now, here's the foolish thing I hear all the time. You could get a 28 tooth on that, and that'll haul ass. It really will. But getting it on there and getting it up to speed is going to take a ton of distance, okay? You have no hopes on that of going over 42 miles an hour. There's, there's no hopes. This one, like the max speed you're going to get is 50, okay? And on this one, the max speed you're going to get is about 50, Okay, now there is other, you know, downhill, all that, blah, blah, blah. That's, if you work it to death, crank it way out, and whatever. Now this is going to have a hell of a time running a smaller sprocket. This will have an easier time running a smaller sprocket, but won't be as fast RPM-wise as that. So, the two level out, actually, pretty even. One a little slower, driving a smaller sprocket, easy. This one, driving a slightly bigger sprocket, but faster. So, I just wanted to throw that in there. And the 110cc build, okay, is actually the porting of that. It's pretty damn close to a Minarelli, 40, 47 millimeter, but it's 52 millimeters inside the other one, too. So, a little more power, blah, 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 but they even out. Oh, I just wanted to toss that out there. That's the difference. If you want to make, you know, and you, if you change, you know, the roof angles and the port heights and all that, 
you can kind of get one of these in, in the squish value. A hell of a lot different between these two. One's designed for more power, one's designed for more speed. There's a lot to that. I'm not going to get any deeper in it with that, but that's the thing. Now you got a crank. The cranks are designed for a 47 millimeter piston. Most of them in the, you know, 80cc kits. The YD100's designed for a 50 millimeter piston. You drill the two holes and all that to offset the weight of the piston, okay? You get something bigger and heavier like that, or one of the bigger saw builds, and then you gotta take out more weight, like the 54 millimeter one, and so forth. Or the 56 millimeter MS660, which that was, and you gotta take that out. Now I hear all these people say all this crazy stuff about crank volume and all this crap, okay? What you have to realize is when you're pulling a 56 millimeter piston up, the crankcase volume that's in one of these, it's not designed for that period. It's designed for a 52 millimeter piston. And you're pulling all that piston up in there and people are worried about that. That that crankcase in, we'll just say a MS660, has a volume that's probably one third larger than what's in there. So if people are worried about the volume with holes, they're insane. <laughs> Because you're behind on the volume on that. It's one of the biggest downfalls to an MS660 build. The crankcase is not big enough. It's not pulling enough air and fuel mixture in to even run correctly. And, and that's why I say like the MS460 anyways, the 54 millimeter, it doesn't work as good as the 52 millimeter for that exact reason. The crankcase is just not enough volume to pull enough air fuel mix in, okay? And on top of that, they don't use a solid web crank, they use a partial web crank. So you gotta keep that in mind too, You're, you got all that volume. Plus the crankcase size is completely larger than one of those. So anyone that's worried about holes being drilled in and blah, they're idiots. I'm not, I'm not trying to sound mean, but you know, it's, that's mechanical workings of a two stroke. And one of the biggest reasons those bigger builds don't run really good. And the other thing too, to note, and this drives me crazy. Everyone puts a reed bell. Okay. They put it on, they go, I added a reed valve in a window and my engine runs so much faster. It's insane. It's not even what a reed valve does. <laughs> a reed valve opens up that port to suck in more air fuel mixture longer. When it goes up and combusts and all that, it changes the power band window. If you're, <laughs> if you're say like, uh, your window on that is going to be from 0 to 25% on that one. And it actually doesn't do much at all for that type of build. Now on a Minarelli or a saw build, it makes sense. On a YD100, it makes sense. On a 110cc kit or a Phantom, it makes sense. But these smaller ones, uh, the, the 49 millimeter iron sleeve is an exception. You have to change some of the heights and stuff and take a, you have to deck it and a little other things to make that work, but not getting into that either right now. The whole point is, is this changes the power band duration. So like on the Minarelli, the reason that they do that, since that's such a high end porting, is it expands the lower end slightly more to give it a little more power to get up into that higher band where it hits, okay? So it expands that window and it doesn't do it on the higher end. It does it on the lower end to give it a punch to get up and go. So like when I did it on this saw build, okay? If you realize what a chainsaw is, you pull the trigger, it pulls the chain, and you want it to chew through stuff, okay? So you get it up going, 50%, 75%. This thing has a chain with massive freaking torque to it chewing through a log, okay? And that's how a chainsaw, you know, is ported for that reason. It's got a lot of torque, and that's why it can pull a smaller sprocket out of the gate. 
and when it's in its higher duration. So this actually expands that power band range. So by doing that, what it is is now you're at like one third to 75%. So you gave it a little more kick out of the gate to get going and power all this. So that's what that does. It gives you an out of the gate power boost a little bit shorter instead of up a little more when it gets going. That's why dirt bikes and stuff started using these. Gives them a little more power out of the gate, gets them up to speed to where they would run. You actually lose a little bit of the top end because of that. So let's keep that in mind. I mean, a lot of people don't get that. So with that said, and we got all these, here's the next big thing. All right. All these bearings that go in your crankcase, by the way, their max uh, RPM rating is 7,500 RPM, so keep that in mind. Everything you see in my hand right here, 6,600. So to get all these up past that, you just damaged all these. So keep that in mind. Here's a crank bearing, 12 millimeter, 10 millimeter. None of these are designed to go past 6,500 RPM. You start deforming them, and then they chew in, and they turn into shrapnel, and your piston and your jug goes Pfft. So, to do all these speed runs and make it look like you're cool, you just killed all these and your engine's dead in the first 10 minutes of doing that. So keep that in mind. But, uh, yeah, none of these are designed to go past 7,500 and none of those are designed to go past 6,500. All right. So with all that said and all that, and we explain this one goes slightly slower in RPM, can drive a smaller sprocket. This one goes really fast, but has to drive a slightly bigger sprocket. And this one, unless you do some serious modifications do it you know maybe a 38 42 somewhere's in there after that you gotta be going downhill pedal your brains out to even get anything out of that so just just saying but that is a 49 millimeter one you can do some stuff to it and get it going but you gotta you know i don't know the, the most you're gonna really get out of it is you know maybe low 40 <laughs> something like that minarelli maybe 50 and one of the saw builds 50 and that's maxing it out but here's the other thing you know whatever this spins this always spins in proportion one speed so if you get it up to 10,000 10,000 and 10,000 the speed out of this is always the freaking same and the only thing that changes it is the back sprocket. 